green and blue combination I have are the N and the M. Copy that. Over. Um... For some reason I can't use the movie thing. Dang! Over. <laughs> All right, so the N and the M, are the, um, the blue and the I, um, the N and the M. I'm hitting the N, hit the N, then, and the M, hold on, M, huh, huh, nothing's happening. What did I do the last time that made this thing open? <laughs> Over. <laughs> Answer lies. Riddle. So again, the only thing I have on the wall that says the answer lies. I think that means lies on the floor, but I, all I have is a book on the floor. It's not going to let me pick that up. Over. The answer lies. I mean, I had the hint between the eyes before, but that was the runes. Um. Uh, when you say N, what does it look like? Does it look kind of curvy, like a slide? That's correct. It looks like a straight stick on the left side and then a curvy slide going down. Over. Okay, and the M looks like an M. Like, nothing fancy. It's just a literal <laughs> M, right? <laughs> yes, yes, it is just, just an M. Over. Okay. Uh, I have no idea. This is... I, I don't know. I don't know. I have more books. There's like a ton of books everywhere with all different instructions, but that's not going to help us get out of the room. Um, so what color are the eyes? Green on the left, blue on the right, and they're on two pillars. Uh, same setup as before. Over. Okay. Uh, there's a second combination. I was doing blue on the left, green on the right. Uh, so the rune on the left is like the bunch of lines in a circle. Looks kind of like a torch. Uh, and on the right, it's like the N, but it has a T inside of it. I see what you're talking about. Hold on one sec. Over. Okay, waiting heat after. Boom, you got it. We got it. Over. Going into the next room. All right, perfect. Let's go. Ah, the All right, what is your painting? Because I am ready. I am ready to describe some rooms and also die. Over. <laughs> My painting has changed, and I hear the, the creepy darkness talking to me. Okay, here's what we got here. Today's picture is, again, it looks like an ostrich. It has a skull, f a skull for a face, a blue bird for a body, a snail shell as a hump, and two long duck feet with duck legs with web feet at the bottom for legs and feet. Over. I think I found it. Uh, first rune is a turtle. I see the turtle. I'm sorry, Raphael. I have to take you away from your brothers. Over. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Jump, jump, jeep, jump. There we go. Okay. Uh, when you're ready for it, the second like a stick figure fox. Stick figure fox. Got it. Let's see. Stick figure fox. Is a six-figure fox also something that could look kind of like a flower? Over. Yes, it could also look like a tulip. All right, got it. Over. Okay, the last one looks like an upside-down triangle on top of a stick, and then there's a horizontal stick with two more sticks coming off of it. It sticks all the way down, Jeep. Over. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Sticks all the way down. Upside-down triangle. Upside-down triangle. At the very top, right? Over. Yes, exactly. Okay, upside down triangle, upside down triangle. Does it look kind of like an hourglass? Over. Uh, like the upper half of an hourglass and maybe like two thirds of the bottom. Yes. Oh, yep, I found it. Yes, in some ways it can look like a stick figure human and the triangle's the face and it has a long bow tie. Over. Sure, yeah, I could see that actually. <laughs> I heard something unlock somewhere. I don't know where. I have to go find it. Over. 
Copy that, but we did it, so the door unlocked. I'll await your instructions, old wise, old wise librarian. Over. Alright, sounds good. Where? What was the change? I heard a click. I don't see anything different. Okay, well, I've entered another room. Uh, it, it looks like I've got a puddle of water at the bottom of some stairs leading to the next door. And on the top, in purple, the there's a text that says orange, but the text is purple colored. Over. Say that again? On top of a door, there is a word. The word says orange, and it's in purple. It says orange, written in purple, on top of a door. Okay. I don't see anything that corresponds with that. Wait, 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 wait. No, I do. I have a map in here. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Ooh, that's what's happening here. There were colors all over this map. Um, shoot. Uh, describe your room a little more. Uh, my room is, looks like it's a, a boiler room, or if there's a pipe running along in here, there are boxes, there's a, there's a door that I came from, and the place is getting flooded. I have a feeling I'm going to drown to death in here. Over. <laughs> oh no! Um. I am looking for something that will be useful. Uh, hold on. Try not to drown yet. Doing my best. The jeep, the, the water rises. Over. Hello. I, I know you're uh, you're trying your hardest. Try try more. Keep trying. Continue trying. <laughs> Hello, Extreme Wolf. I am upside down, so that way Kiana can be right side up. This is my lovely um collab partner right here. We're playing. We were here. Are there any things you can interact with in the room? Uh, um. Not exactly. That's not, not the position I'm in. I'm uh, I'm standing in the highest corner as the water rises. Over. Okay, we're definitely going to die. Oh wait, 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 wait. Uh, we're probably still gonna die, but I have found <laughs> a different way I can go, so I can probably save you next time. Perfect. I will die with dignity. I will drown with dignity. Over. Okay. Uh, I have a room that is filled with water that I have levers in, or not levers. Uh. Uh, oh god, I can open and close valves. Um. Oh, yes, I'm gonna survive! I'm gonna survive! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm alive! You saved me, the gold wise librarian! Over! <laughs> I want you to know I have no idea what the solution was. I just ran, like, down this hallway filled with stone um, and spooky armor statues, and at the end of it, there's a room that's filled with water and three valves, and I just turned all of them over. Hey, when in doubt, hit a panic, saves lives. Over. Hit a panic, hit a panic! Uh, this whole, this whole stream is hit a panic. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm opening another door. Over. Okay, I've gone back to the central room again. Alright, it looks like we got another puzzle here. I just activated a switch that opened up a gate, and the gate has like a white diamond on the middle, and uh, two white diamonds. One at the bottom, one at the top. It's it's a barred steel gate, and the switch I used to open it has the same white on it. It's like a lever. Over. Okay, I saw that lever way earlier, like a corresponding one, and I have also touched mine, but I can try closing it again and opening it. <laughs> Hold on. Yes, please. I think I think that's what has to happen because I'm trapped in between. It's like there are two doors. When I when I hit the switch once, one door opens, the other one closes. So I need you. I think you got to hit the same white switch with the white diamond tip. Over. <laughs> okay, I'm hitting it now. Did anything happen? Negative. I think I got it over. All right, it was simple. I just had to. I just had to hit the, the damn switch from the inside, and it opened. Sorry, you didn't have to help me with that. That was my fault. Over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on a sec. I'm, I'm reading something on a wall right now that says, "Bring down the gliding light." No, bring down the guiding light. That's what it says on the wall in blood. Over. The guiding light. Yep. G U I D I N G. Uh. I don't see anything guiding light-ish. Give me a moment. I'm in a big room right now. I'm exploring. There's a bunch of statues in here. It looks like knights of old. 
they have torches flanking them, a torch on each side of these knights on the walls. Uh, hold on a second. How's everybody doing today? I have I survived drowning. Oh, we got a weird little dog portrait. Okay, that's that's that, that's definitely um conspicuous. Give me a moment. Hmm, I saw a creepy little shadow guy run run by. Oh, that's 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 disconcerting. Over. I don't like that. Over. <laughs> All right. The, the the thing that stands out the most in this place that I'm, this area that I'm in that has plenty of hallways. They seem to be leading me someplace. So, um. Is this portrait of a dog? It's um, it's a dog with uh three candlesticks on its head, and it's got kind of a long neck, and it looks like it's got a frisbee stuck in its throat. Over. What? Over. <laughs> this is a portrait of a dog that has candlesticks on its head, and it's sitting down, and it looks like it's got something circular caught in its throat. It's got kind of a long neck. Over. <laughs> Um, okay. Well, I went back to the portrait room and I don't see anything like that. So we're out of luck on that front. Um, I was able to read the uh, description of the video that I can't get to play. And it's like greatest chess moves or something. So if you see something chess related, let me know. But otherwise, I don't know what I'm looking for. Copy that. I am in a maze of a place. So... Um, I see a lot of these these gates with the diamonds on top of them, various colors, and I don't know where creepy little shadow dude is. So let's just let's just not talk about him, so that way I, I can muster what courage I've got. Let me see. Over. I'll tell you about the chess pieces later. Over. Okay. Uh, the creepy little guy can only kill you, so it's okay. Over. Yeah, yeah. What's death to? Wait, what? Over. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Over. Okay. You laughing at my potential death is also disconcerting, but I will accept it since you are my collab partner for the day. Over. I'm also your only chance of avoiding that death, because I apparently have the answer, even if I don't know what they look like. Over. Very true. Over. Oh, okay, no chess pieces, but I arrived at a closed gate with green diamonds on it. Over. Green diamonds. I have not seen any green diamonds. Uh, the map that had the colors is gone again. The colors are gone again, so I don't know what's going on with that. I see. Maybe this is the room where I gotta walk in certain directions. Uh, hold on. I'm just running back. Over. There's the... Okay. There's the dog. There's the ladder. Folks. I don't know if you've noticed, but we have the dramatic we're going to die soon music playing. Over. Oh, I've still got the ominous, uh, everything's creepy, don't worry about it music. Over. Oh, on my end, it's definitely the countdown until we die and get a game over. Over. Got, got it, got it. I'm doing my best. Give me a moment. Over. Can I interact with, interact with something? Wait, wait, the dog. The fucking dog. Let's go to the dog. All right, I'm just gonna narrate. There's a dog. I'm gonna try and interact with the dog picture. I, I just looked at it. I keep forgetting I should interact with shit more. I'm not a fan of touching things that, that scare me. Wait, 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 oh, wait. I was able to interact with something. No, no, wait, wait. Oh. Jeep, are you still there? I am, and I can interact with the torches and blow them out. Over. Okay. Uh, the torches I have that are interactable are in that portrait room. Um, I, I heard the, like, good job you did it music when you did something, I think. Oh, excellent. I blew out the torches next to the creepy dog picture. Over. Okay. Uh, I have no creepy dog picture, so I cannot emulate that. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna look for more torches to blow out. Next to every picture I see, over. Okay, I guess I will put out torches too. Alright, I pulled out, I pulled out torches next to an, uh, a husky that had bat wings, over. That sounds really cute, over. <laughs> it was cute, it was like a, it was a husk pup, over. Aw, that's adorable. 
Um, so I put out all the torches and nothing has happened. <laughs> I found the green switch. Um, nothing happened yet. Over. Sorry, I missed what you said. Say that again, over. I found the green switch. Over. Okay, that's promising. Uh, what does it do? Over. Nothing as far as I can tell. Oh, what? it opened it opened the green gate. It just opened the green gate. Over. Yay! Yay! I'm still in the maze with the shadow creature, but I'm on my way. Over. You're either further in or further out of the maze, which means that your situation has either improved or gotten much worse. Over. I'd say it's a possibility that it's both, my friend. Over. <laughs> You're probably right. It probably is both. Okay, so I can also relight the torches. Over. I think I can also do that. Um, I also don't know if I need to do anything with the switch. So I've just been kind of pushing it. Over. When in doubt, push the buttons. Over. <laughs> oh, all my torches are back on. I wonder if that's what my switch does. I'm going to experiment. Over. Experiment away. I'm just keep looking myself until I get something noticeable that I should bring up. Over. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, folks. Uh, my game stopped loading. I don't think that's supposed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the shadow creature. That was his husky. He wanted to keep the portrait lit up. I'm sorry. Over. <laughs> I went back to my portrait room and nothing slowed it. <laughs> okay, uh, it loaded now. I can confirm that my switch only resets my torches, so it will not help you. I'm sorry. Acknowledged. Um, I can confirm that. I have the, the the torches around the dog got re, the dog with the candlestick head has relit and I am trying to look for another way out and um Amiga Robot Amiga Robot um just said that Kiana was glitched over I was glitched <laughs> nothing was loaded in the portrait room I wonder I hope that's what they were talking about because that's the only uh, glitch that I know of I think so. It, it, the the the, tack, the chat came in uh, pre before you uh, got back to normal. Over. Okay, gotcha. Uh, over. All right, I blew out the torches again on the two fortress, and it looks like that. Yeah, geez, nothing's happened. I can't even find like anything to talk about with the chess pieces and all that. Hold on, over. Uh, I'm noticing the colors on my map keep, like, coming and going, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's something intentional, if it's a bug. I, I don't know what's going on. Over. That makes two of us. Let's see what I can uh, mess up here. Okay, alright. Alright. Uh, the dog with the candlestick heads have has relit yet again. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna mess about. I'm gonna blow out every torch in this place and just see what comes after. Oh, ho. Oh. Okay, all right. Okay, here's what's happening. I think every time I blow out the two torches, a new switch appears. I just found a blue switch. Over. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I would like to tell you something about the colors of the room, but I don't have any colors on my map. Over. That's perfectly fine. Hey, why don't you just... um. Unless, of course, you have more stuff and more investigating. Keep me company, because I swear the little creepy dude's uh, coming anytime soon. It's just an intuition I got. Ah, okay, I just saw it. I knew it. My intuition was right. Ah! <laughs> you know, uh, I have to say, it's it's a lot better when I'm not the one experiencing the creepy thing. Sorry, Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I bet it is. I bet it is. Over. <laughs> Okay, this isn't 
how big I saw puzzles, though. <laughs> a good sense of humor goes a long way and relieves stress. You, you, you it, it can help. Over. I suppose you're right. Over. Okay, so I got a new portrait. It looks like a pug. I'm gonna blow out the torches yet again. Over. Um, I just realized I looked up and there's stained glass windows over each of the torches in my room, except for two. So I blew those out and we'll see what happens, I guess. Over. Copy that. And so I blew the torches out. I'm checking for another switch to appear. Yep. Uh, the switch is now green that's appeared. I'm going to hit it right, right now. Over. Okay. My, uh, portrait room didn't load again. Over. All right, so we got some more glitch going on. That's okay. Glitch just happened. Stitch had a glitch. We all know this. Over. <laughs> <laughs> um, I maybe walked out of the wall, and I'm falling forever. <laughs> oh, that, that's, um, good luck with that. Over. Um, I, I think we need to reset. <laughs> Oh no, for reals? Over. I don't know how to reset. <laughs> oh no, oh no. So, so we can still talk to each other, but we don't know how to reset. <laughs> Alright, hold on. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna make the game again and we can just run through <laughs> the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> All right, so you're okay. One moment, one moment. <laughs> so you heard that, folks? Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta run. I'm just gonna. All right. <laughs> oh no! It it asks me, are you sure you want to leave your partner to die? <laughs> you must. We must die so we can live again. Do it, my friend. Save yourself. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we're saving myself. I already fell through the world and I'm gone. <laughs> Yeah, but you're in that, like, eternal existence kind of trippy-dippy idea. Uh, I I'm just gonna straight-up die. Over. <laughs> and I died! Weehoo! <laughs> what is with that hallway, folks? Anyone know what the hell that is? I sure as hell don't. Alright, let's start the game again. <laughs> There we go. All right, let me uh, let's, let's get let's get back into it, folks. <laughs> God, that room is so complicated. All right, let's see. Um, I gotta first turn this off. There we go. Okay, hello, lucky and amigos. This feels like I just came back to life. Y'all remember me? I hope you didn't forget me. <laughs> Hi, Jeep. Hi. <laughs> hey, Kiana. Hello, librarian. How's everyone doing? Let's get back into this. I'm sorry I left you to die. <laughs> it was the only way. It was the only chance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but now we can speed run the beginning. Yes. Yes. Sounds good. Now we just have to hope we remember all the steps. Yes. Oh man. That's okay. It's all good. Just remember the valves where I where I die and where I could be drowned. Yes, amigo robot. We have to die to live again. Jeep 2022. That was my quote. He, I was quoted by amigo robot. Oh. Jeep. Key. Key. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Uh, what color eyes? Left, right. Left. Left eye, red, right eye, green. Okay, the rune on the left looks sort of like a trident. The one on the right looks kind of like a torch. All right, hold on. Done and done. I'm gonna get up to the picture now, over. All right, I'm going to the room too. Start describing. We got a skull on the head of an ostrich body that's covered in fur with the monkey face coming out the butt and the monkey feet for legs. Over. Uh, monkey or human? Sorry, I assumed it was a monkey. Human. 
describe it again? Um, a creature with two legs. The legs look like monkey hands or monkey feet. Uh, the butt has a human face with a tongue sticking out, and the head is a skull. Over. Okay, I found it. Uh, the first rune is, it looks kind of like either a person, like a stick figure holding its head, or like a weird three-parted wine glass at the top. Stick figure. Uh, that's quite a picture you painted right there. Hold on, maybe too complex for what I'm looking at. Over. <laughs> okay, uh, it is a semicircle at the top um, with the flat side facing up. It looks like a stick figure other than that. Wait a minute. Semicircle at the top. Semicircle. Where's. Semicircle at the top. Give me a moment. Semicircle at the top. Does it look like. Kind of like a. um, Like a hook at the top and it kind of slinks down and there's like a bunch of sticks sticking out of it? Over. Uh, no. It looks like. Like a half moon at the top and then you could see like. The left and the right sides is like more half circles, sort of, and then it is a line, and then the bottom looks like legs. Gotcha. Half moon at the top, and the bottom part looks like legs. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Half. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I can hear the. I can hear the clock. I hear it. I hear it. Hold on. Over. Heat of pressure. <laughs> All right. Um, does it look like like a little person with a circular head, like a little peg on the top, a triangle body, and then two legs going into what looks like um, a bowl, uh, like a, like a dish over? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Hold on. Over. <laughs> Maybe let's let's do the other two, and we can come back to that one because the second one is that A I described before. Ah, gotcha. Over. Okay. And then the third one, I can describe whenever you're ready. Let me know. Ready. Over. Okay. So it is a circle that has like a cross in it, and it looks like it's connected to a string, and there's like a three quarters of a square. It looks kind of like a button with a loose thread coming out of a pocket. Yep, I think I know which one, which one you're talking about. It's a big circle. I can see it, and it's like, it's like a thread running right down it, and it's got like two. It's got like the pegs sticking out on both sides. Over. Uh, I think so. I think so. Okay, I think I got the correct one. Now let me look for that half moon circle you say at the top. Uh, at the top, right? Not not the bottom. Over. Right. Um, another way to describe it is it has like three closed shapes at the top, um, and then it has a stick coming out of it, and the stick turns into two other sticks at the bottom, kind of like you would draw a stick figure with feet. I think I got it. Over. Okay, perfect. Okay, hold on. I did not get it. Over. <laughs> oh no! Um, 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 okay, okay. Uh, what shapes do you have that might be faster? Um, the, I've got the A that you described, the A with the little, little peg on the top of it. I've got, um, two, okay, so it's got two, I think we were close. I'm gonna get the two again. Hold on. Yeah, get those two, and then describe all the shapes that are left. Hold on, just running quickly is all. Alright, the last one you say has two sticks coming out of the bottom. It's not the turtle, right? The turtle is not the one. Over. Right, it's not the turtle. And are there only two sticks at the very bottom, or three, three sticks? Over. Only two. Only two. I got something wrong over here. Oh, shit. Only two at the bottom. Okay, that's the first one, right? Over. Correct. Only two. Only two. That just leaves this one. This is wrong. Oh, 
Okay, the A looks like the letter A with a little stick on the top, right? Over. Correct, over. And the circle you described... Oh, I think I got it. Over. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, hurry, hurry, hurry. I, I think we're gonna die. <laughs> this is where all... This is where all the gameplay comes in handy. I can speed run. Over. I did it! I did it! Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, that was, that was... <laughs> Woo! Okay, yeah, I misunderstood the button one. That's, that's when I got wrong. Over. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but you got it, so it's all good. Um, I'm going to shut off those things now. Alright, I'm, I'm in the drowning room. Hold on a second. Alright, in green text, the word purple is above the door. Over. In green text? Correct. Green text. The word purple is... The word purple is there, but the text color is green. Over. Okay. <laughs> that was a close one, eh, folks? That last one. That was pretty fun. I tried the only options I know, and it didn't work. Um, okay, so we have two options here. We can either go with the color of the word or the letter of the word. Uh, so I have three, uh, three, uh, <laughs> panic, what are they, what are they, what are these, uh, turning thingies to shut off valves, and they are the primary colors. So, let's go with the color, let's go with green, over. Okay. I'm guessing from the music that didn't work. Nope. Uh, yellow and blue to make uh, green, but that did not seem to work. Purple is red, uh, red and blue. May red, blue, green. Over. Hey, you did it! Okay. Uh, I understand this puzzle, and I'm going to explain it out loud for when we inevitably have to do it again. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you get the three colors. You have to open the one that doesn't make the color. Ah, copy that. Nice. Nice going. Over. Oh, we got lucky last time because I just opened all three and I was right. So I don't know how we did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now we're back to where we were, I think. And you have to go through ants or something, right? Yeah, I'm back in the room with a maze that always has tons of gates. Um, uh, with a... Uh, White diamonds, blue diamonds, sometimes I see a red diamond on the gate. Um, and um, with tons of dog portraits. And the dog portraits keep changing. So, maybe something to do with the dogs in your room. Do you have cats in your room as an opposite? I don't know. Over. I do not. Um, I did just turn off the torches that have no light next to them. And I'm going to try hitting the switch and this time not falling through the world. So, we'll see if that helps. Indeed. And again, I got this cryptic phrase on the wall that simply says, bring down the guiding light. Over. It does not appear to have worked. Um, bring down the guiding light. Alright, where's that creepy- Guiding yeah, light? Yeah, yeah, shadow guy, shadow guy! Oh, jeez, I got some goosebumps. Over. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm having too much fun right now. How you doing? Over. <laughs> I am doing well, except that I don't know how to help. <laughs> but that's the only problem. Other than that, I'm I'm having a good time. It seems like I'm not going to be leaving this room, which is fine with me. No shadow guys here. Over. No, I'm the shadow guys are coming for me. This is what I get for talking with Peter Pan and upsetting shadows. Over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try turning off all the lights, except for the ones that are unlit, and maybe that'll help. Gotcha. Over. What a maze this place is.
Okay, uh, it did not work. Over. Acknowledged. Over. This one's insane. Over. I hear music coming from somewhere. Like, like a recording of music or something. Seek it out. I, I just hit a green switch. Over. It seems to be coming from this table <laughs> where the map is. I don't understand. I hear ya. I think I just gotta keep walking until... I find every switch that's available. Hold on, over. Okay. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with this music, but I will explore and see if I could get maybe the camera to start working. Over. Excellent. Everyone needs a camera. All VTubers need web cameras, so we know this. Over. True that. Over. Down. Maybe that did something. Bring down the guiding light. The guiding light are the dog portraits, folks. And that's what I gotta bring down. Right? Okay, that just locks me in here. Alright, I think blowing out the can the, the torches around the dogs was the best move, so I'm just gonna do that again. I didn't do it this time, but I'll, I'll do it this I'll do it again. Over. Okay, sounds good. I'm confused by this map. Over. Yeah, that I, again that makes two of us. This is one complicated puzzle we got going on here. Over. Let's see folks, let's see what we can see. Let's try and find those doggy portraits again. And there we go. There's the first dog. Okay, that one's out now. All right. All right. I found the blue switch. Over. I wonder if the map is the labyrinth you're in. The maze. Over. That's quite possible. Over. The reason I say it is because there are green and red and blue and white doors, it looks like, and just basically lines across the hall. So I'm wondering if that's what this is, but I don't know why I'd have it or what I could guide you to with it. Over. Yeah, yeah, those are all the colors of the doors that I have here. Indeed. Over. Um... Maybe you can give me directions if you like have portraits on there or green markers or something. Over. Uh oh, I talked over you. Um, I said, did you just do something because the colors went away? Over. I blew out the torches around every single dog portrait. Over. Okay, the uh, colors are gone. Over. Give me a second. I think I can bring them back. Over. Come on, let's do this. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Anything change? Over. Uh, it does not appear so. Over. Alright, I have an idea. Over. Come on, Jeep. Alright, listening, Hirafa. Over. <laughs> um, I'm just blowing out the candles, uh, the torches around the portraits. I, the portrait I blew it out around... The background color of that dog was purple. There, the other dog had a green background, and I think the the, the uh, husky had um, blue. So that might have something to do with this whole puzzle we got going on here. Over. Maybe. Um. Something. Something light was the hint you had. Over. Bring down the guiding light. Over. 
Bring down the guiding light. I have no idea how this might connect. You say you have a map of the labyrinth? Yes, I think so. Over. Is there any possible way for you to like read it and con and convey it to me in some way? Over. Uh, probably not unless you can give me a good explanation of what the room you're in looks like. Uh, basically, I just have, like, it's a big loop with different rooms, essentially. It's not really a labyrinth, it's just a big circle with different offshoot rooms. Over. Okay, that could help. I'm in a room that has two tables in it and one box. Does that help? Over. Yes, is there a barrel as well? Yes, one barrel. Over. Okay, uh, I know where you are. You are at the northeast room. Got it, northeast. Okay, so let's see. All right, I'm going to walk down now the only hallway that can that shows me out. Over. Uh, what does that mean? Shows you out. Sorry, the only the only option I have because there are no other hallways I can walk through in this uh, this area. There's only one place I can go through. Over. Okay, um, to your right, shortly after you leave, you should see a stairwell. I'm not sure if it goes up or down. It goes down, and there's a red diamond door above it. I just went down, I just went down, and to the right, now, I went down, I went down the stairs, and on the other side is a portrait of the husky with bat wings on the wall. Over. Did you go down two sets of stairs with a landing between, or did you just go down one set of stairs? One set. Okay, so are you in a landing area? Yes, uh, there's, I'm, I can I can descend another set of stairs or go back up. That's my only two options. Over. Correct. Okay, so this definitely is that map, and I definitely know where you are. The problem is that I don't have any markings on it whatsoever, so I have no idea what I should guide you to. Uh, but down those stairs, if you go down them, there looks like there's a stairway up, like a double stairwell up. Okay, I went down, and a double stairway up to my right or to my left, is it at the end of the hall or is it to my right or left somewhere? Oops. Okay, I went down and uh, I didn't have my I didn't have my walkie on. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> okay, so I went down the stairs and the next and the next flight of stairs are to my right or straight ahead. Over. So it looks like the exit is to your right. Uh, straight ahead takes you back through the loop again. Okay, take care, blue. All right, Blue Hope, you have a good one. Take care, my friend. Oh, sorry, I'm just saying goodbye to uh, one, of the, one of the folks here. Um, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Um, anyway, yes, okay. So going straight takes me back to the loop and going... Okay, gotcha. Over. So what are you doing so I can try to follow you on the map? Over. Okay, so I went down the flight, the second flight, the one before. I'm still in the same spot. I haven't moved. I went down and now I went to the right. It's going up, but it's a dead end. It's just a blocked off room. Over. Okay, uh, I was hoping there was something more, because that's kind of what it shows me on my end, too. Uh, if you come back down and go back the way you came back toward that room with the two tables, the chair, uh, or the box, and the barrel, uh, I can guide you to another place that looks like an exit. Over. Yep, okay, I'm back. Over. Okay, are you in the room or just, like, in the hallway next to it? Over. In the room. Over. Okay, leave the room and instead of going down the stairs, continue straight until you can't anymore and then stop so I can get my bearings and guide you again. Lovely. Okay, I'm here. I'm stopped. Over. Okay, so you want to head south and then take the first left. All right. Took, went south, took the first left. Over. Are you at a set of stairs? Yes, over. Okay, are they going up? They be going up, over. Okay, take those and see if that gets you out. I've gone up, and it is another dead end, over. 
Okay. Uh, come back down the stairs and go straight once you come down them. You should go up another set of stairs. I think. Maybe down. This doesn't really tell me if it's up or down. Okay, I went straight down and um, it, 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 I, I went straight and it took me down and then what happened here is to my left there's a gate with um, blue diamonds on it. Over. It's closed. Okay, it's closed. You can't get through. That's correct. Over. I wonder if there's something on my end that I can do with this. <laughs> I do. There is a blue switch somewhere. If I can find my way to it, maybe it'll open it, and I'll have to find my way back here. I'll try and find it, and I'll describe a room I'm in if you can guide me back. Over. Yeah, that works really well. I have um, tables, barrels, and boxes in all the rooms, so basically you can just tell me how many of each there are in whatever room you end up in. Over. Delightful. I just gotta find that blue switch. Over. Cockaboo boy! Good luck! Over. Thank you. Over. Cockaboo boy, it's, it's actually not my birthday today. I, I don't know why you said happy birthday, but I'll say thank you anyway! <laughs> Where is that blue switch? Hold on a sec, folks. I just want to take care of something real quick. Uh, Haze! Haze! Hey, folks! Thanks for the ra- Haze Shift! I was just raided by a, by a wonderful individual named Haze Shift! He is someone I had as a guest on my show! Hey, uh, Heal Amigos! Uh, people! We're having a collab! Say hello to the Heal Amigos! They're good people! This is Kiana and I'm collabing with! I I'm just talking so loud so everyone knows. <laughs> I get a shout out to them all! Hey, Haze! <laughs> just saying hello- uh, I'm just, I'm just saying hello to everybody. I just got raided by Hayes. He's one of my guests who was on my show. Welcome, welcome, raiders. I, I am Jeep, and um, Halen, thank you for the follow. This lovely individual right here is a giraffe VTuber. Her name is Kiaren Kirino. Her group are called the Hiramigos. They are wonderful people. Say hi to her, and please check her out and follow her with the so and so that's on the screen. Nice to have you here. Kiaren, say something to the lovely raiders who just came in here. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy. We're a little bit confused, but we've got a lot of spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, that was her, folks. Yeah, we got tons of spirit. So much spirit here that we're going to need that much spirit because we're going to keep dying and our spirits need to be strong to come back over. <laughs> it's going to say we're going to be we're going to be spirits and then we have to find our bodies again. <laughs> over. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> over. <laughs> How is the uh, search going for the blue lever, Jeep? About as good as this puzzle so far, so bubkiss. But, um, uh, you know what? Let me have you guide me again. Um, I found myself another room with different sets of barrels and all that hoopla, so give me a moment. So, folks, we are playing We Were Here, this puzzle game. Over. <laughs> okay, the room I'm in has four barrels, a pot, and a table with a book on it. Over. Four barrels and a table? Four barrels and a table. And there's a book on this table. Over. Okay. Does the book have anything interesting on it? Because the book isn't on my map. And the pot also isn't. But I think I know which room you're in. The book seems to have... Ooh, it's so dark. I can barely read this thing. Hold on. It's got, like, illegible jibber-jabber, as well as, like, four gates on them. Over. So I have a question of how you got here, because according to my map, you're on the other side of that blue gate. So I don't know how <laughs> you're over here. <laughs> I don't know. I was just walking, and I found the room. Let's just, let's just take it from here. Over. <laughs> Um, if you continue, uh, east out of the room and keep going straight and follow that hallway, will you eventually get to the other side of the gate? Hold on. I cannot tell you which way is east because I don't have a compass, so you'll have to give me... Uh, I, I, I don't know which way is east, so you have to give me another, um, instructions. Over. 
okay, good point, good point. Okay, so you should see a corner where there are two staircases. Do you see that? Yes, I'm at the crossroads where there are two staircases. Over. Okay, the one, if you're facing, oh gosh, if you're facing with the table to your back, that is north. You're facing north if the table's to your back. So east is the staircase to your right. Perfect. Okay. Uh, now that I know which way is north, now we can use the cardinal directions. Okay. I'm heading east. Um, how far east do you want me to go? Over. It looks like you'll have different things to go to on the right, but I want you to keep going down the hallway. It will turn and just keep going. There should be two sets of stairs if you go straight. Um, and just let me know if you come up against the blue barrier or not. Over. Okay, there is no blue barrier. Um, at the very end, I just went completely straight. At the very end of the hall is the portrait of the dog with a purple background and the candlesticks. Um, over. Okay, can you go left? Does it continue that way? Over. It does. It's the only way I can continue. Over. Okay, continue and go up or down those stairs. I don't know if they're up or down. They are upstairs. Over. Okay, go to your right, to the north, which is, uh, if I'm reading this right, the only way you can go. And there should be another set of stairs on your right. Go up those. Ah, okay, here's the dilemma. There's This is the blue door I can't get through. It's closed right now. I think I saw the switch backwards. I know how to get to both. I'll get back to you in a moment. Over. Okay, so somehow this blue gate is closed, but you can get everywhere anyway without it. I don't understand. Why is it here if we can get around it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's something interesting. I'm in a room with the blue switch, and there are three boxes in here, a ladder, and a table. Over. Okay, I see the room that you're in. It is the southmost room. Got it. I'm going to hit the switch. Over. Okay. Hold on, I'm heading back to where the blue door was, and it is now open. I've opened it. I'm going through. Over. Okay. Uh, so now you have access to the full loop, but I don't know what good that does us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see. Uh, the room I'm in right now has the green door. I can't explain this room. Let me get to another room for you. Over. Okay, sounds good. Alright, I'm in the room now. Back, I'm back in the room with the two tables, the box, and the barrel. Over. Okay, I see the room. It is the eastmost room, but it's northeast. Alright, just uh, take me someplace that you think could work. Let's do this again. Over. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to take you back to the place that we first tried. So exit the room, go to your right, go down both sets of stairs, and take the staircase on your right. On it. Okay, I actually did not get back to the correct room that you said because I think one of the doors I couldn't go through, but I've instead found another room with a green switch. And there are four boxes in this room. Over. Okay. Okay. I, I see the room you're in. It is the northwest room. I think I gotta find my way to the green locked door is what it is, because the way I came is now shut when I hit the green switch, but I think the other green door is open. Over. Okay, so you don't have access to the whole loop at a time. I see. Okay, I understand. Okay, so I got it. So I gotta tell you where both green doors are, and then you gotta lead me to them when I do the proper switches, because the way the doors work is one door opens, one door closes. I think that's what we gotta do. Over. Okay, 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 okay. That makes sense to me. I understand. Um, I think I need paper to write this down or no, wait, 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 wait. I can just take a screenshot. Hold on. Yep, 
Yep. There we go. I think I got it now. It's, um... Alright, so I'm gonna find my way to the... Uh, that room that I get stuck in with the green switch. There we go. So this 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 one's closed now. I gotta get back out here. Hold on, I'm just talking myself over. <laughs> Let's see, people. Let's see. Let's try and... Okay, I have the map so you can tell me where you are and doors and such and i can mark it myself perfect there's the compass all right i am in the room with the four with the four barrels and the table over four barrels and table okay and relevant doors or switches or anything um no switches and no doors adjacent to this room no over okay uh where is the next closest one let's see i'm gonna go north right now and see if i can find one over okay sounds good Okay, so I went north, and at the end of the north, I can go up a staircase to my left. That's a dead end. Over. Okay, give me one second to mark that. Okay, uh, all marked up. Over. Over. Oh, sorry. What did you say? Over. Oh, uh, do you have it marked down? Over. Yes, I was saying I had it marked over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. All right, so now if I go to the right, I'm going right, then I go left. Now I'm locked off with the blue door. Over. Now you're what? Over? The blue door, the blue gate has me locked off. Over. Okay, and where is this blue gate? Okay, so, um, right across, um, the stairs that lead to the dead end. I turn around, and I, I, I do a 180, I go straight back, and then I go to this room, and then I turn left, and that's where the blue gate is. Over. Is it at the top of the stairs or the bottom of the stairs? Top of the stairs. It's a, it's a, sta it's, it's a set of stairs that go down, and I can't go down them because it's right at the, at the start of the stairs. Over. Okay. Uh, give me one moment to write that down. Yep. Blue gate, blue diamond gate, top of the stairs, over. Okay, I have it written down. Where next? Where next? Oh, perfect. I found the room with the blue switch, so if I hit this, it's going to open up that gate. Okay, perfect. Where's the room with the blue switch so I can mark that down? The room with the blue switch is in the room with the three boxes and the ladder and the table. Over. Okay, let me mark that down. One second. Phew. It's going well, chat. We finally made some progress in this one. Hayes, I think you're good luck. Okay, go for it. Alright, so if I hit the switch, the gate that was closed, the blue gate that was closed, do you want me to go back to there? Because it's going to open it. Over. Uh, you can? That takes you back to the room with the four boxes in the northwest. I'm not sure why we're doing this, but go for it. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. There's, there's no reason to hit that one. I'm just going to go find um, the room now that has the green switch, uh, so you can mark that down. Over. Okay, sounds like a plan to me. Okay, hold on. I got some. I got something good here. I found. Okay, I'm gonna trace my steps for you from where the blue switch is, um, because I found a, an open blue door. So that way you know where both blue doors are. Over. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. All right. So I am leaving the room with the blue switch, going upstairs right now, and I'm taking. I'm going right. Now I'm going left. Then I'm going left again to another flight of stairs that go up. Is that correct with the map so far? Over. Correct. 
Now I'm going right. And in the middle of this hallway, all the gates are open, but there's a middle gate. That's a blue one. That's a blue gate, and it's currently open. Over. Are there multiple gates in here? Yes. There. Uh, this hallway has three gates. The ones at both ends have no color. The one in the middle is, bl is the blue diamond gate. Over. Okay. Give me one second to write that down. Hold on. I think this is what they call progress from Perseverance. Okay, written down, written down. Excellent. I'm going to keep I'm going to proceed right now. I'm going straight. Now I've reached the end of the hall cuz all the gates were open that I told you about. I'm turning right, going up a flight of stairs, and let's see here, there's nothing distinguished about, oh, okay, hold on, hold on, over, one second, I gotta explain this to you real quick, okay, so I'm going back to the room with the open blue gate in the middle, alright, I'm, I'm at the open blue gate, I'm going straight, I've reached the, I'm going right up a flight of stairs, that makes sense, over. Uh, when you went back, are you are you progressing forward from where we last wrote it down, or are you backtracking? Progressing forward from where we last uh, started, stopped, over. Okay, then it makes sense. Continue. <laughs> okay, so I go up the stairs, I'm in the room, and now this is a big room with, um, it's got, how can I describe this? The room's like divided into six, because there are two big pillars in the center, over. Okay, on my map it is just a big empty room, so I can't see anything in there anyway. But is there anything that looks puzzling? Okay, that's perfect. If it's just a big empty room, then I get I get it. So at the very end of this big empty room, there are there should be three ways I can go. Is that correct? Over. Correct. There should be one straight ahead of you, one to your left, and one to your right. Correct, correct. Okay. The um the one with the flight of stairs that I... Yeah, straight ahead, there's to be stairs going up. Is that correct? Over. Correct. And that takes you to a dead end. Excellent. Okay, so stairs go up to my left, to, to the left of the stairs. There should be just a straight row. There's no stairs that way. Correct? Over. Correct. Excellent. That means to the right, there are stairs going down. And right here, at the top of the stairs that go down, is a closed green diamond gate. That's what I want to tell you. Over. Closed green? Okay, let me mark that down. One sec. <sighs> okay, it is marked down. Excellent. And I just went straight ahead, um, you know, um, um, uh, the split where there are three, I went to the straight ahead part with the stairs going up, and then I turned right, there's more stairs going up, that's a dead end. Over. Okay. Okay, so with that, that means the only option... I can't go to the right, because that's the green diamond door. Going up leads to de a dead end, so I am going left. Over. Okay. I don't see anything on the map that looks like it could be an exit, so I don't really know what our goal is. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there is a red diamond door, but I have not found the red switch yet. So, uh, oh, there, there is a red diamond door, but I have yet to find the red switch, so just bear with me on that. Um, anyway, I'm going... I went left... Now I'm going right, and now I've stopped at a foot of stairs. Over. Okay, I know where you are. Perfect. I, if I go down these stairs, at the bottom of the stairs into this next room, where uh, at the bottom of these stairs is the red diamond gate, and it is currently open. Over. That's like the landing if you go down, because if you go down, there should be another set of stairs to your left. Correct. At the at the foot of the landing, the the 
Red Diamond Gate is open. Um, at the bottom of the first flight of stairs that lead to the landing, that's where the Red Diamond Gate is open. And then to my left is the other foot of stairs. Over. Okay, let me mark down that Red Gate. Okay, okay. Okay. Now, okay, now I turn left, and I'm going down some more stairs, and to my immediate right, there's another set of stairs. Over. Mm-hmm. If you go up this, the map says those are dead ends. That's correct. That is a dead end. Um, if I proceed forward, and then I look to my, and then I look to my right again, there's another foot of stairs. It's blocked off by a red diamond door. Over. Oh. That's interesting. Um, they're next to each other on the map, and they both look like they go to dead ends. But maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, let me mark that on the map. One sec. Over. Copy that. I think the red diamond door woohoo, is the way to go. So I gotta find the red diamond switch. Over. Okay. Um, the good news is there's not too terribly many places it could be, I think. Unless the bad news is that I have responsibility for it somehow, in which case we might be in trouble because I don't know where or how. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, so I'm not going up the red diamond door. I'm turning left and I'm walking straight ahead and I should be at the open green diamond gate. Is that correct? Over. And you should have that closed blue gate. Yep, and there's the closed blue gate. All right, so I gotta, so I gotta hit the blue switch and probably find my way back to this blue diamond gate to get through it or something. Over. If you do that, you'll just be going in a circle because the only thing it gives you access to that you don't have access to from that direction, you can get from the other way. So that does not make sense to do. You're right. Okay, then I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna blow out the torches around around the dog lights. Maybe that opens the red door. Over. Okay. Uh, try that and let me know what happens. Over. Gosh, just blowing out those damn torches gives me, give me chills. Over. <laughs> <laughs> I still have the torches in my room that I don't quite understand what I need to do with them. Over. Understood. <laughs> Um, let me see here. Hold on. Uh, da, 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 let's, let's, let's try and find, uh, did I, did I tell you where there were any dog portraits? Over. Uh, I haven't been marking them down, so yes, but I don't remember. Over. Oh, that's fine. Over. Blew out the torches for one of the uh, the dog. There we go. There's the final dog. There you are. There you are. Over. This dog is green. Okay, so you've interacted with all the torches with the dog portraits. on the map again. Hold on. Yep. I just blew out all the dog torches. Over. Right. Yep. I just blew out all the dog torches. Over. Um, are you looking for the red switch? Yes. I don't know where the red switch is. Over. Okay. I know where it is. Um, are you right now? Excellent. Okay. Beautiful. All right. I'm in the room with the table and the four barrels. Over. Okay, table four barrels. You want to go to that intersection where there are the two staircases. Take the one to the right, to the east, with your back to the table. And follow that basically till you go past the blue gate and then go down those stairs. Or up those stairs. It doesn't tell me if it's up or down. Got it. Do I, do I want to go? Wait, the, uh, yeah, oh, I got it. Okay. I'm in the room with the blue switch currently. Did I go the wrong way? Over. Uh, yes. Come back out of that room. Keep going down the hallway. Gotcha. Over. Uh, 
Okay, I'm going underneath now the blue gate that was in the middle that's still open. I run, I walk through it. I'm going up. Over. Uh, the colors just left. I think I understand what's happening though. Hold on. <gasps> no! You remember? Okay, you remember I had that switch? What it did? It turns on the colors on the map. I am a dumb giraffe. Ah! <laughs> oh my no, no! <laughs> Hit a fade. <laughs> but I have the colors. I have the colors. Oh, delightful. Okay, so I'm in the big empty room where I told you was the the cross, the the, the three, the three split off. Uh, where do I go from there? Over. <laughs> okay, go through the green door, um, and down those stairs or up those stairs, and basically straight back against the wall. There's a space between a barrel and a box. The red switch is marked there. Okay, perfect. Now this green door is closed, so we have to go. You have to. You have to take me back to the green switch to open this one. Over. Okay, perfect. I can do that. Um, go back out and go straight, and then basically go down that stairwell. You'll go by the one with the double landing and all that stuff. Go through that other gate, um, and then hit that switch. All right, I'm on my way. Over. Sorry, what was that? I'm on my way. Over. Okay, I'm going to be an embarrassed giraffe over here because I didn't realize what was happening for so long. <laughs> You're all good. I'm the one who dies. It's all good. Over. <laughs> okay, here's the problem when I hit that, that switch. So I'm, uh, the green door that was open and led down here closes. But when I leave, when I go out to the other way, the the second blue gate is still closed. So I get it. What we have to do is I got to hit the blue gate and then come in through the opposite end where this blue gate is. Over. Yes, exactly. Can you do that or do you need guidance? I think I can do that. I got to find my way first back to the room with the blue switch. Over. Okay. Good luck. Let me know if you need anything. Can do. Okay. Let me see here. I'm just going to be talking right now and uh, let's see. All right, um, I'm trying to remember where the blue door is. I'm just gonna go, I can't, I forget what that blue switch room is. So, um, I'm in the room with one box and two tables. Where can I go from here to get back to the room with the blue switch, over. One box, two tables? Uh, you wanna go back out the room and then to your left and then go right once you get in that other room. That's probably too many instructions, hold on. I'm being Hina patient. Um, okay, where are you right now? Hold on. I saw what you're talking about. I went I went back now, I backtracked and I got through again the middle blue gate diamond. I, I this is the way I believe back to the blue room. I think I remember it over. Perfect. Yeah, it's gonna be the first door on your left. Yep, I'm back in the room with the blue switch. Hold on, I'm gonna hit it right now. Over. Okay, perfect. All right, that one has been hit. Now we can't go back through the room with the th with the blue door in the middle of the three. So you gotta find me a way to get back to the green switch room without going through that room. Over. Okay, so leave that room and go left, and then you're gonna go up the stairs to your right. You're gonna be in that room with the intersection with the two stairwells. Just keep going up the stairs or down the stairs, whichever direction they're going. Got it. Oh, oh, okay, I think I found it. I think I'm back in here. Back in the room with- Yes, I'm back in the room with the green switch! Hold on, over. Okay, waiting here. Alright, I'm gonna hit the green switch. Green switch has been hit. I am heading back out through the blue gate. How do I get to where the, uh, the, the, the other green gate is? Over. So keep going down the hallway, you'll come back to the stairwell where they're like the intersection. Keep going back down that hallway and basically just keep following the hallway till you're back in the big empty room with the pillars in it. Got it. Hold on. Okay, I have actually returned to the room with hold on, hold on. I am currently I'm currently in the room with one table and four barrels. Over. Okay, so with your back to the table, head to the right. Alright, that's what I'm doing. Over. 
All right, perfect. Keep going. You will see some stairs. Keep going. That'll take you back to where the blue gate was. And then keep going, and you'll be in the room with the pillars. I'm on it. One second. Gila, oops. I got turned around. One second. Over. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Gila, take your time. Alright. Alright. So, in the room with the three, with the four barrels and the table, I go east. Correct? Over. Correct. And if I continue forward, I should, uh, at the bottom of the stairs over here is the room with the, uh, blue switch, right? Over. Um, so down the stairs into a separate room, yes. Alright, I'm going up. Oh, okay, I see. Over. Yep, I got it right now. Okay, I gotta hit the blue switch before I can get back through the hallway with the triple gates. Over. Okay, sounds good. I think we might have it this time, my friend. Just hold on a little longer. Hida, hold on. Over. Hida, waiting. Hida, Alpha. Hida, waiting. Hida, Alpha. All right, I'm back in the big empty room. Yes, and the green gate is open. I am heading down right now. I, s I see the red switch. I see the red light over. Yay! Okay, yay, okay, okay, okay. I hit it. Take me back to the red door. Over, the closed one. Now it should be open. Over. Okay, the problem is the fastest way to get there, it is closed. So go back the way you came, go back through the blue gate, and then hit the blue switch. Copy that. I'm heading back to the blue. Blue is the way to go. I'm blue, so that makes sense. Over. <laughs> blue everywhere. Blue works. Blue is the best. B for blue for best. Yes, indeed. Okay, hold on. Over. I, I gotta find it. Over. Take your time. I have to keep resetting the colors. All right, I went back. I'm going backwards now, back through the, the, the triple gates with the blue diamond. I'm heading back, heading back. I found the blue switch. Do I need to hit the blue switch again? Over. Uh, yes, you do. All right, blue switch has been hit. Now I got to get back to the other room. Over. Correct. Go out of there, go left, go up the stairs, or down the stairs. I wish I could remember which way you were saying. <laughs> it's, it's down. <laughs> Thank you, Amigo Robot. Thank you. I think, I think we got this. Okay. There we go. Right, I'm back in the room now with the green switch, and I'm going to open up the gate. Over. Open up the gate, and then on your left with the staircase, you should be free to go. Hey, I'm free! Checkpoint reach! Yay! Over! Woo! Yay! Yes. Mario Samus! We did it! Yay! <laughs> yes! Only took us a hundred minutes to get here! Over! <laughs> Yes, yes! I'm jumping and celebrating in the snow, and there's a chessboard here! Over! Chessboard? That sounds like all of the books that I have scattered everywhere. Oh no! We 
did it here, amigos! We did it! Over! We did it for now, but now I have like six different books that have different instructions for you! <laughs> oh, goody! Yeah! Uh, is there anything that tells you any sort of anything? Because all the books have different instructions from what I've been able to see. Okay. Okay, so... If there's no more map... Oh, yeah, the door, the door behind me. The doors are gone now. Okay, so... It's snowing here. There are, like, statues of, like... It looks like... I don't know... Religious folks in robes holding out their hands. There's a generator here. And, um... That's and that's all I see in the big chessboard in the middle with uh, white and black pieces. Over. Okay. Well, we've confirmed it is chess. I still have one door locked on my side. I wonder if there's something you can do to open it for me. Looks like I'm gonna freeze to death if I don't figure out what to do. Over. It looks like what? It looks like I'm going to freeze to death if I don't figure out what to do. Hold on, over. <laughs> oh, uh, goodbye. Oh, maybe the movie will work now. Generator. Kick it. Um, oh, 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 oh. It does not seem like the movie will work, but it's just... Um, I think that it would be relevant to this puzzle. I'm working with a generator currently. Over. Oh. Maybe that'll be useful. I don't know. Ooh, I got it started. Hold on. Anything happening? Over. Uh, not that I'm seeing, but I'm running around the room to see if I missed anything. Uh, the locked door is still locked. I can't do anything with the movie projector. I can move the chest pieces now. Over. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Uh, the movie is running, but I don't see any light. It's, it's not projecting, but it's running. Oh, now it's running. Okay. Ow, it hurts my eyes. <laughs> okay, tell me what pieces I have to move. That's probably what's going on here. Um, I can move the white pieces, because of course white goes first in chess. Over. Oh! Okay, are you white or black? White. Over. Uh, oh no, that went very fast. Hold on. Oh no. <laughs> Ooh, I'm freezing to death. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, first move, first move is gonna be the, uh, fifth pawn from the left goes up two squares. Got it. Next move. Uh, the bishop on the right. Uh, hold on. It plays all at once. I can't make it stop. And then I have to watch it again. <laughs> um, <laughs> no problem. I think the bishop on the right goes four diagonally. Yeah, it is four. The bishop can't move. I, I, I haven't I haven't uh, moved the uh, the pawn yet on the for the black pieces. Over. Oh, you have to move both sides. Yeah, yeah. I gotta play. I gotta move both sides. Over. You're definitely going to freeze to death. This is gonna take some time. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. So move the black pawn. That it, until they're touching. Gotcha, over. Then move the bishop.
Why is this going so fast? Wait, what's the white what's the white piece I have to move now before moving the bishop? Over. The bishop is the white piece that has to move. Oh. Oh, right, over. I didn't know what the bishop was. My my vision is really foggy right now. Over. Oh no. I think you're definitely going to die. <laughs> Oops, uh, how far did it want me to move the bishop over? Uh, it, four squares over. Like, move it over three from where it is, four total. Does your chessboard have the letters and numbers? Because that might be easier. Afraid not, over. That's what I was afraid of. That's why I wasn't using that. Oh, he died. <laughs> oh, what a world. Okay. Okay, now we know how to get back there real quickly. Um. <laughs> oh, oh, my. We can reach half from the checkpoint. It shouldn't be that bad. Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> Just drinking some of my tea here, folks. Don't mind me. Are we at the chest part? Hmm. Uh, that, yes, correct. Just give me a moment. You, uh, you got water with you or something like that, right, Kiana? There's a lot of talking in it. <laughs> oh, hold on. You got, like, water or something for yourself, right, Kiana? There's a lot of talking in this. <laughs> Over. Uh, I don't. I forgot to grab some, but that's okay. I feel fine right now, and I can take a break if I need to. All right, jolly good. Over. All right, I need you to do whatever you got to do before I can start using this machine. So I will wait for you to do whatever it was you did last time. Yep, I'm destroying the generators all over. I have to start the generator or else the chest pieces don't move over. What was that? I uh, I have to start the generator or else the chest pieces don't move over. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, generator's going. I'm gonna start the piece movement. I remember the order. Hold on, over. Okay, let me know when you need the one after the bishop. I move the, to the two pawns that they're touching each other, the, uh, the white pawn that's in front of the queen, right? And then the black pawn is in front of the king. Those two have to be touching, right? Over. Uh, no, it's the two in front of the kings. Oh! Okay, that makes sense. They meet in the exact center.
It's all messing up on me here. Over. Uh, take your time. I am struggling with trying to remember more than one thing at a time. Okay, uh, what's the order again? Play it from the beginning. I'm getting it all wrong. Over. Okay, so the two pawns that are in front of the respective kings be in the middle. Got it. Over. Oh, uh, the white one first, right? Over. Correct. White one first. It moves forward two spaces, and then the black one moves forward two spaces, and they're touching. Okay, they're touching. What's next? Over. Uh, after that, I have to watch the video again. Hold on. After that is the bishop. It moves three diagonally. Alright, that's correct. What's next? Over. Uh, I think it's the knight, but let me replay it just to be sure. Black or white knight? Black, right? Over. Uh, it would have to be the black one. I think it's the far left one, but let me, let me double check. No, it's the pawn in front of it. It moves forward one. Crap, I, I, I picked the wrong knight. It's so foggy I can't tell which is the knight. Hold on. Over. Uh, it's not the knight. It's the pawn in front of the knight. Right, I, I moved the wrong one. Hold on, sorry. Uh, which knight, the one on the left or the right? Uh, if you're from the white perspective, it's the one on the left. Got it. Next one. Over. You moved the pawn in front of it? Yes, I moved the pawn in front of the knight by one space. Over. Okay, the next step is the white queen moves diagonally two spaces. White queen diagonal, two spaces, correct, over. All right, next, the knight that you had moved before, the left knight, it does its L-shaped thing, so it's in front of one of the pawns and the uh, next to the other pawn. Correct, next, over. Okay, the last one is that the queen moves forward to capture the pawn, I think. Wait a sec, and just let me make sure that's true. I'm watching the movie now. Yes, it is. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, right, the last moment. The white queen captures the pawn straight ahead, correct? Over. <laughs> Not over? <laughs> correct. Okay. Correct. Okay, all right, all right. Now, I, okay. Perfect. I can remember these chess, these chess movements. We try from checkpoint one. No, checkpoint two. I don't care that I froze to death. No. No. Checkpoint two. Yes, thank you. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, here we go. Amigo Robot. Evidently, Amigo Robot says someone from Kiaden's chat, your chat, says I look like a cool robot. Robot Facchetto. <laughs> I am actually not a robot, uh, here, Amigo. I am actually a Jeep. Over. <laughs> uh, yeah, they said that over here, too, and I forgot to pass it on because I was preoccupied with the chess. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's all good. Yeah, don't worry, human amigo. It's a common mistake. Everyone thinks I'm a robot. I, I think it's the sunglasses because they're, they're square. Over. I think it might be the robot shape. Who asked you? Over. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the beauty of the collab. Nobody has to ask me. I just get to say things. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess I guess I do look like kind of, I don't know. I, yeah, yeah, I, I do look kind of like a robot over it. But a very cool robot. Indeed, over.
Alright, I think I can memorize the chest movements. Hold on. Over. <laughs> I, I play chess sometimes, so it's, it's easy. I don't, I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not a chess master. I can, I, I can just uh, some of the memory. Over. <laughs> Well, uh, whatever you can remember will be a great help to us. <laughs> okay, I have the video playing. I'm gonna try writing it down, if I can. What came after the, uh, the bishop over? After the bishop, the queen moves diagonally to. But wait, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. That was the next white move. Um. Uh, wait, I, I got it. It was the pawn in front of the knight. Over. Okay. Then the queen moves, and then the knight moves. And the queen moves three spaces or two? Uh, I think it's two. Alright, so move two spaces, and then the knight again, right? Over. Right. And then after the knight, the queen captures the pawn the bishop. Got it. The queen goes straight ahead and takes the pawn in front of the bishop. Yeah. Yay! Yes! Yay! Okay. <sighs> another another checkpoint reached. Nice job, Kiaden. Nice job, you. You're the one that had to remember all those moves. <laughs> That's okay. When it comes to chess, Jeep can remember certain things. It's so much fun. Over. <laughs> <laughs> that makes one of us. <laughs> okay, so. Do you have a map of my room? Should I describe it to you, or what's what should I do now? Over. Uh, that's a good question. I don't think I have anything. I still have my locked door. I don't know if it's something that you can help me unlock, though. Okay, I'm in a room. There's a book in here, and it has looks like uh, it has the similar symbols we worked through. It has like the the, the like a kid who looks like it has fox ears, the A with a peg on the top. Um, it's also got uh, a, a candlestick with, thir with circles at the top, like a trident with circles on the top, and uh, looks like a little robot, and, like a square robot, not, not a circle robot. Over. <laughs> I think I understand. Um, how many symbols are there? There are five. Okay, I think this tells me which book is the correct one, because I have a ton of books. They all have five symbols on them, and they all have different instructions. Remember I was saying that from the beginning? So I think your symbols tell me which book we need to use. Perfect. Okay, then from the left, it looks like a kid. It's like around, it's like an egg body with two hands sticking out, stick figure hands, and like fox ears. That's all the way on the left side. Over. Okay, does the head look like an egg? No, the head looks like uh, a diamond with two triangles as ears. Over. Okay, and then it's a stick figure after that. Um, no. The do you mean the do you mean the image to its right, or I mean the image itself? Over. Uh, the image itself. Could you describe it as a weird-looking tulip? Yeah, I could describe it as a weird-looking tulip because it's not. It doesn't have like a stick body. It has like a a. Uh, a half egg body, but there's no bottom, right? It's like you draw. It's like you're drawing an egg, and then you just stop after you make the sphere, but you don't bother draw the bottom of the egg. Over. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can find this. There's a few symbols that are kind of similar. Ah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's like it has a fox head at the top, and then it has like almost a half circle, <laughs> like the egg, like you're describing, and then sticks coming out as if they were arms? That's correct. That's the one all the way to the left of the book. Going from left, yes, that's the one. Over. Okay, I think I've found the correct book, but let's run through the symbols anyway, just to be sure. Got it. Okay, so from left to right, I got the fox with the, I got the fox with the egg body, then the A with the peg on top, um, 
Then I've got something that's blurred out because the pages are crumpled. It's in, it's in the crease of the page, right in the center, the spine, so I can't really make it out. It looks like it's um, a stick figure, like it's got three lines going down with a little small circle at the top. And then the fourth image is looks like a candlestick uh, with three circles on the top. And all the way at the right is the square robot I told you about. Over. Okay, confirmed. This is the correct book. Yes. Yes. Okay, what do we do next? Over. Okay, so I have a bunch of instructions here. Um, it says, starting in the far west corner, one moves north thrice. Take one step south but not before taking two steps east. Continue towards the eastern wall, then head toward the end of it all. Got it. Okay, so I just gotta remember the, the pacings. Yes, that makes sense, because when I- Is there anything that looks like you might need to, like, stand in a specific spot or walk somewhere in particular? Oh, heck yeah, because I tested it out once already. I stepped on the wrong- it's like a, um, it's a block of several squares. Those are probably the spaces. And I walked on the wrong square, and Spice came up my ass and killed me. So I, I know what to do now. Over. <laughs> okay. Yeah, confirmed. All right. So, start in the far west corner, it says. I'm on the far west. Um, so I, I'll tell you how many how many spaces are on here. Um, there are five squares going up from where I'm standing, and... Five to the right, so it's it's a five by five. So the five rows, five rows of five is how it is. Over. So, all right. So I'm on okay, the far. I'm gonna try drawing this. Hold on. Yep. Yes. Yeah, so it's like I'm standing on one square. If I go up, it's. If I go forward, I'm I'm on, I'm on one square. I go forward, it's four spaces. I go to the right, it's four spaces, and then so on and so forth. Okay, perfect. Okay, I have this. Um, one moves north thrice, so go north three. Oh shoot. Hold on, I went the wrong way, and now we gotta get a different book. Sorry, over. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I know what I got wrong. When it says start farthest west, it didn't mean start on the board. It meant start farthest west and then count from there. So when I was already on the board, I counted three, I ended up going four. Now I got it. Sorry, I died. Over. <laughs> okay, I would have made that same mistake, so that makes sense. Okay, describe the book. Okay, this one we have the same fox head, but this time... It's a stick figure, literally a stick going down for the body and the two arms on the right and the left. It looks like that tulip. Over. Okay, I think I know the book. One sec. Let me pull it up. Alright, run through the next symbols. Okay, the next one looks like... Shoot, I don't know how to describe it. It looks like there's two feet attached to the crotch area, but there's no body. Over. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, I think this is right. <laughs> okay, then it's that uh, the button you told me about with the uh, like loopy circle underneath it, and then there's the candlestick with the three circles, and it looks like then it's either you can describe this as a house or a square, square face, and it's screaming. Over. Okay, this is not the correct book, but it's very close. Hold on, let me see if I can find another one. <laughs> okay, so again, starting from left is the fox with the, is the weird tulip, the legs, the, the legs, feet, and crotch. That's the next image. Over. Here's something I should have been doing this whole time. Where are all the books and how many do I have? <laughs> <laughs> I think this one might be it. Is it, is it, okay, the first symbol is like the fox, but it only has arms, right? No body or anything? Yeah, it's just got a stick for the, oh, you can go to the stick, the body, and then it has stick arms, over. Stick body and stick arms? Uh, yeah, it's like the fox head, it's a, and there's a stick running down as body and then on and then it's got stick arms huh okay 
uh, like it's, it's honestly it's a weird looking tulip because right it's the, if you look at it as a tulip instead of a fox it just looks like it's a stem and then there are two small stems coming out from the right and left and the top is the fox head or the tulip head over and it's not the egg body one nope no it not the egg body over Okay, I found the right book. Yeah, we don't have to go through the rest of the symbols. We got it. Over. Or something, so it gives me a lot of similar symbols, but I found it. Oh, awesome. So we don't have to go through the symbols again? Over? Right. Uh, um, nice okay. Work. Nice work. So this one, I'm going to read it all to you, and then I'll try drawing it out, and then we can go. Excellent. And the pillars, are, I mean, the spaces are exactly the same. Five fives. So... Okay, perfect, perfect. Um, starting in the far west, take two steps northbound, head east twice, then after moving north two times, uh, one can head for the door after taking one step toward the western wall. Okay, let me plot this out because it did the same thing where it's in not quite chronological order. One sec. Got it, I'll be waiting, over. All right, folks, we wait to, for Kiaran to map it out, and then we'll be good to go. I believe it said move east twice, so I'm, I'm, I'm safe right now because I moved north twice in the farthest west corner, which is over there. Now I just got to go east twice, one, two, and I think that's and then the next part. But Kiaran first has to map out the way to go. Oh, thank you all so much for joining us and whatnot. This has been fantastic. Okay, on the other side of this, is there a door? On the on the, on the uh, northern side, is there a door? Yeah. Yes, there is. The door at the end of the hall. Over. Okay. Does it line up with this grid? It does. It lines up with the middle squares. Over. The middle squares? Oh, I'm sorry. Because there are five rows, so it lines up with number with whatever, uh, with it lines up with the with number three. Over. The the, the third row. Over. Um, that does not match what I just drew. Hold on, let me double check. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, may I describe it wrong? I forget how to describe what this is. It's it's a it's a square, and then there are five squares horizontal. If I, if I count horizontally, if you draw the if you draw the grid horizontally, starting from the bottom, it's and and from left to right, you from left to right horizontally. There are five squares, and then you just do that five times on top of each other. Over. Yeah, it's a five by five. Okay, so starting in the far west, take two steps north. I have that. Head east twice. I have that. After moving north two times, one can head for the door after taking one step toward the western wall. So that puts you one square away, but in the second column. So when it says head toward the door, I don't know if that means go up. I got it. So it said in the westernmost corner, move up to go east twice. Then I can move north twice, but not before going west once, right? Uh, no. Whoops. <laughs> Almost. Um, it says, so it says, take two steps north, head east twice, uh, move north twice, then go west, then then go to toward the door. But that puts you in the second column, not the third. Gotcha. That's correct. I would be in the second column. Okay. So I moved north twice already. I moved east twice. Um, I'm still safe. Now I got to move north twice. Over. Yes. I did, and now west once, over. Yes, that's what it's saying. And then I can go toward the door, over. Yeah, that's the only instruction it gives. Success, over! Ah. Yeah, that was easy. I just died like three times. <laughs> It all worked. Oh, oh, I don't like this. Uh, my locked door opened, but it is a spooky, scary hallway that's completely dark, and the door just locked behind me. Oh, God. Oh, no. Um, Ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Whoa. 
Whoa. Welcome to tonight's feature show. Did you hear that announcer? I did. Mine said, welcome ladies and gentlemen to tonight's feature show. Did you get that over? <laughs> I did. Um, okay, great. Nice. I love it. I, I love this. I love everything about this. No problems here. Oh dear. Um, maybe uh, we just need to sing happy songs to keep you less spooked. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Da 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 da. Uh, um, okay. Where are you? Because I'm in an auditorium. I'm in a room. It looks like a backstage, possibly, because I have, I have clothes on here. I got costumes, um, costume racks. I've got something that says blood light that I can activate, a switch that says blood light. I've got a switch that says scene one, uh, several cranks that I don't know what they do. And I've got a separate room to the left that has cardboard people drawn on it. Uh, yeah, over. Okay, uh, you're definitely backstage. I'm in front of the stage. I bet if you could get on the stage, I could see you. Yep, uh, I can't find my way to the stage currently. Hold on, over. Alright, I don't think it's possible for me to get to the stage, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna activate a switch. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the switch that says scene. Over. Okay. I have two doors on either side of the stage, so I'll see if that does anything. Got it. My so my switch is a white switch, the same switch as I talked to you about. This one's white though, and um, it says scene one. I'm gonna hit it right now. Okay. Anything happen? Over. Not that I see. All right, whenever I hit the switch, it just goes back. Whenever I hit the switch, it goes down, then goes back up. So I must have to activate something else first. Hold on, I'm going to hit the other switch that says blood light. Over. Okay. I'll try not to be scared when something inevitably spooky happens. All right, I hit the blood light switch. That one stays up. Anything changed? Over. Yes, there is now a red spotlight in, in the stage. It's come like a spotlight from the top, like a stage light shining down. Got it. I'm going to turn it off. Tell me if it turns off. Over. Yep, it is now flickering. Yeah, that's because I'm flicking with it. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, um... Alright, so I hit the blood light. Let's see if I can hit the scene one. Now, anything happen with the scene one switch? Over. Nope, I don't see anything. Alright, next I have six cranks. They are not labeled. There's three above and three on the bottom. I'm going to hit them all starting from the upper left crank. Okay. Anything happen? Oh, oh, uh, something is moving. It is like an archway. It is moving across the stage. It's now in the center. Alright. I'm, um, okay, gotcha. I'm, I'm gonna do another crank. Uh, it's back center, by the way, just to clarify. Gotcha. Okay. Alright, I'm trying to see what's happening here. Alright, um... I see these cardboard cutouts in two sides of the in two rooms and they're they're moving with the cranks over. Okay, nothing is visible on stage except for the archway. The archway also appears oh, you just moved it, but before it appeared to be lined up with something in the back. Uh but I can't tell what it is because it's like way backstage. Gotcha. I don't remember all my theater kid terms, I'm sorry, G. It's all good. I don't remember that much either. <laughs> it feels kind of nostalgic, though. Very, very medieval, I would agree. Alright, let's see. Uh, okay, so that's the archway. What's happening with this switch? Tell me. Over. Uh, a person is coming out, and now they're in almost the middle. They're past the archway. 
Uh, I'd like to describe more about them, but I can't really see them that well. All I can see is they have a red shirt, black pants, and maybe something on their head? Gotcha. Alright, what about this switch? Uh, it looks like another thing's coming out. It is a person sitting on top of a semicircle, but it is a white and blue semicircle with like fringe coming off the top around the outer edges that's white or that's blue rather. Uh, I don't I don't know. It looks like a kit. All right, I'm doing something else now. Uh, the same red shirted black pants person now has a sword and is like mid swing. It's another cardboard cutout. Gotcha. And this one? Uh, it's three people. Uh, someone in a red shirt crouching down kind of next to someone in the middle and a woman on the right in a purple dress. Copy that. Let me see what happens. I hit the scene one. Seems like nothing's happening yet. This is the weirdest play I've ever seen, and I've seen and participated in quite a few. <laughs> Wish I could say the same. I didn't do much theater. Over. <laughs> I did, and it's not necessarily for the best. <laughs> okay, so... Can you see a story forming on stage? Because I can't hit or change anything else. Am I supposed to put something in the red spotlight? Over. Uh, so far, nothing has lined up with the red spotlight. Um, you could put things, like, behind it, but nothing is, like, in the circle of the red spotlight. They're all on their own separate horizontal tracks, it looks like. And as far as I can tell, there does not seem to be a story. Understood. Okay, I'm trying to currently interact with what looks to be a, a hatch that I can open, but it's not opening. Hmm. Oh! Wait a second! I can open these doors and be on stage! <laughs> that could help! Everything. Oh! I can see a hatch on my end. I am now on the stage. Okay, um, what shall I do? Over. Uh, try move. Oh, wait, hold on. If you're on the stage, let me try something. Over. Okay. Uh, you're moving the archway. The, uh, the king, I, I can see now, it is a king. The guy with the red shirt and black pants. Uh, he's standing in the red spotlight and the archway is directly behind him. There's also a cutout of him holding a sword and crouching. I can see it better that he is uh, bloody, and that's unfortunate. Oof. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so now you're actually on the stage, and everything's out there. Uh, oh, wait, whoa. I'm having, that was a weird sound. Oh, okay. Everything looks like everything left the stage, and all the cardboard cutouts left. Oh, uh, there's, there's, there's like a gramophone here. It says there once was a castle filled with life. So you probably have to bring the thing out that describes that. Okay, castle filled with life. That's probably the archway then, yeah? Over. Uh, maybe it's the people. The three people. Ah, oh yes, if we're, yes, you're right. This is the, okay, I get it. Okay, the people first. Got it. Over. <laughs> um there there is a big spooky thing in in the doorway uh in the audience oh god am i going <laughs> hold on hold on okay there you go there you go there's the people there's the full of life woohoo woohoo uh, <laughs> what's next in the story that's only the queen oh that's the queen wait is this the people Uh, that's the king with the sword.
Oh my god, the thing is moving closer. I'm going to die. Oh, oh no, oh no. Think, 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 think. No, 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 don't do it. Filled with life. Uh, the third track, it needs to go further. Oh god, I'm going to die. Further out on stage, and the king with the sword oh. needs to leave. Is it leaving? Is it leaving? <laughs> no! Uh, yes, now it is! But so did the uh, castle filled with life. Oh god, I'm going to die. Wait, okay, here's the castle full of life again. Okay, it's coming out. Perfect, perfect. It needs to keep going, I think. Unless it can. Okay, it is now center stage. Alright, next. Uh, it's still saying the same thing. Maybe that's not right. Maybe we need... Wait. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, maybe we need more things. Maybe everything needs to come out except for the king? Alright, I'll try that. The sword king. I'll, uh, the other king can come out, maybe. I don't know. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry. Just listen to me. Listen, it's gonna be okay. I'm lying to you, but it's gonna be okay. Oh my god, this is so scary. Jamie <laughs> can't see it. It's like a shadowy marionette. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. Everything's coming out except for the king. Except for the crazy king. I'm putting, I'm, I'm bringing it all out. Uh, it's still saying the same thing. Oh god, that's so creepy. Um, maybe they all need to be lined up? The- Oh, the bloody king's coming out! Okay, that's everything. That is everything, including the king. Uh... Oh god, it, uh, um, uh, move the crazy king back, maybe? Okay. Okay. Okay, he's leaving. Crazy king is leaving. Blood spotlight is off. Maybe this is the answer. Alright, king's gone. What now? Um, it's still just saying the same thing, and also more and more of the stage is going dark for me. I am losing my ability to be on stage. Uh, Hold on, I'm trying to, I'm playing, fiddling about with Switch, I don't know what to do. Can the uh, king and queen move closer together? They're the only ones not in the middle. Okay, hold on. Is that the queen? Over. Yes, that's the queen. She just moved further away. Where is she now? The queen is dead. The queen's like, no thanks. <laughs> hold on. Okay, hold on. I'm moving her back. Is she in the middle yet? She's almost in the middle. There's a gap in the middle. Uh, so, the first track has the king and queen. I don't know if they can come any closer to each other. Uh, but there's an archway directly behind them, and then the three people directly behind that. Pretty much everyone's in the middle. That's the king. Is he going back or forward? Uh, whatever you just did made the king leave. Oh god, I'm going to die. It is in the audience. Sitting on oh, a chair. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Ooh, this is a tricky one. <laughs> the marionette finished the scene. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hit a pain, hit a pain. Okay, uh, but we can try again and it'll be a lot faster this time because we know kind of what we're doing. If yes. nothing else, we can start the show. <laughs> that might be all we can do. <laughs> yeah. Alright, shall we go again? Yes, okay. Alright. Oh, I'm back at the spike room. Cheap, I'm afraid. Oh, that's okay. I'm here. I'm here. Um, I'm back in the spike room uh, with the with the with the tiles again. Over. Do you have to do it again? 
I think so. It looks like the exact same one, the exact same book we had before. So if I'm right about this, over. Hold on. Yep, same book. I, I I got it. Over. Nice. Okay. I also have it written down, so if we end up here again, which we probably will, um, we can Ladies do it again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's feature show. Okay, so there's no creepy thing until I hit the gramophone, I think. Creepy here right now. Gotcha. So I'm going to start with the people then. Over. Okay. Okay, here come the people. Are they in the center stage yet? Nope, they need to move over. One more. Uh, the music changed. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I, I think we got the first part correct. That's what happened. Okay, read the next part. Over. Uh, do you, do you want me to start the gramophone? Uh, yeah, might as well. Over. Okay, the people went away. If you can bring them back, maybe just them. On it. Okay, it's still saying the same thing. Um, can you bring out the king next, maybe? Right, the, the nice king, right? Not the bloody king. Right, the nice king. Okay, here comes nice king. Uh, can you bring out the queen? Yep. Okay, it's not changing. Can you bring out the archway? Yep. Oh! Everything despawned for a second, but it's back. Okay, uh, maybe get rid of the king and queen? Alright. Okay, king's gone, queen's leaving. She'd be like, I ain't, I ain't here for a king, goddammit. <laughs> uh, it's only doing the same thing again. Uh, it's not saying anything new. Uh, we have the people, we have the archway. I don't know. Is the blood light still on? Over. No, it is not. Okay, um... I think what makes the, the, the scary guy up here, and I'm so sorry about that, Kiaden, is when I hit the switch that says scene one. So maybe after I put the people out there, that's when I have to hit the scene one, and that's correct. I'll try that. Over. Yeah, try hitting scene one and see if it does anything. There once was a oh. castle filled with life. Okay, everything left and it repeated the noise. We must get, we mu must have a new one. Yes, awesome. Yeah, scene one, and then it changed to scene two. So that was correct. We needed the people underneath the archway. So the archway is supposed to be the castle then, I guess. Over. What's next? Over. King with his wife. Okay, so the king and queen come out maybe alone, and then you can hit scene two. On it. I don't know if we'll need the archway. I'm guessing the creepy person in the seats was a very angry critic. Over. <laughs> this guy likes his plays, and if you don't do it just right... He lets the other audience members have it. That's a, that's a, that's a bad customer to be around. Over. 
Okay, try scene two now. Ooh, uh, that was incorrect. Over. Uh, try putting the archway out. Got it. There we go. Doing the archway, folks. Let's make sure Kiaden doesn't. Okay, die now try time. scene two. And there lived a king with his wife. Nice. Okay, next one. Alright. Oh, all was good. Uh, maybe bring everyone out except for the angry king? Got it. Well, there we go, folks. Okay, the next one. We bring all was good. All was lovely. Yep. All was good. All was lovely. Here, amigos, I hope you're enjoying the show and not just our bloody deaths. Hold on. And this announcer's got it all wrong. King and Queens, where's this guy's British accent? <laughs> uh, we're just missing the people. Okay, try it now. All were happy and all was good. Perfect. Excellent. We got we got progress. Scene four. Until the king killed all he could. Maybe just the king with the bloody sword? Everyone's on stage, though, so they all would have to leave, and the bloody king has to come out. Got it. So I'll bring the bloody king out and then send them away. Then should I hit the blood light? I would, I would guess so, yeah. I think that makes sense. Oh god, the uh, oh no. I think we're gonna lose. <laughs> He's, the marionette is in the seat and I can't get close to the gramophone. Okay, okay, hold on. Alright, so the Bloody King is out. Should I, may I should hit it like when the people are there because, um, oh no, killed everyone he could. Okay, I'm gonna send everyone away. Blood light and then hit scene and we'll see if it works. Yep. Okay, that was wrong. I gotta send the people away and stuff. Hold on. Okay, we're probably going to die, but go for it. Wait, is the good king still out there? Over. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, no. oh, shoot, yeah, there can't be two kings. <laughs> this king is one and the same. <laughs> king, okay. Uh, bring back the people and then try. I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. Hold on. Okay, try. Until the king Ooh. killed all Yes. Um, okay, the marionette is on the stage. I can't go hit the gramophone. Okay, okay. Uh, the gramophone's what tells us the next story, though. Um, um... Go for it! It's a challenge it! I'll talk tough for you! Duh, you can't do shit, uh, marionette! You can't do cr crud! Yeah, 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 here to, here to fight! Here to, here to courage! <laughs> maybe, maybe it won't, uh, maybe it won't do anything unless, of course, uh, it's game over. So, just, just, get, uh, muster up the courage, Kiaden! You can do it! Go on! You can do it! You can do it! said so um just bring him out the blood light is still on so just bring him out um say that again a scene at least um i don't think i can do it but maybe maybe we'll get this maybe we'll get this okay wait what's the next scene i'm sorry say that again uh bring out the mean king Okay, try the scene. Should I turn off the blood light? Over. No, leave it on. It says standing in blood. Nope. That's... Um, try removing the the light. Yep. 
nope, still wrong. Because um, he was in the blood light. Wait, standing alone in blood. Maybe I should bring out the archway and the bloody king and the blood light. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, turn on the blood light. Perfect. And then the archway. Whoops. I definitely can't get the gramophone anymore, though. Archway's underway. Oh, boy. Come on, come on. Hurry up, Jeep. Hurry up. You the panic. Okay, the stage has the king, the archway, and the blood light. Correct? Over. Correct. Hit scene. Let's see. No? Um, can it come any... Can the king or the archway move any closer? Let me try. If not, try to get the blood light off? Wait, let's do the good king, but without the sword in the blood light. Okay. Because the sword was like for his slaughter. Now he's all alone, drenched in blood. So let's just go with the regular king. Yeah, maybe. Uh, oh god, this thing is horrifying. Also, anything anymore? <laughs> I know, it made a sound. I'm scared too. I'm like, oh crap! Damn it, that's still wrong. Take away the arch? Oh no! Hurry up, Jeep. Hurry up. I'm, uh, uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. It's so creepy. I'm trying. I'm trying. Hold on. Standing in blood. Oh god, I can oh. leave. Okay. And then it went dark. <laughs> oh, end scene. Okay, let's do it. We know how to do it now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. How much of that? <laughs> Alright, I'm back. I'm back. Okay, how much do you remember? Because I don't know what I remember. I, I remember how the sequence of the whole scene, of the, of the whole play went down. Uh, I remember the whole sequence of how it all went down. Unfortunately, I have a different book. So, um, it's the egg fox on, on the left. Over. What about the fox? It's the, um, egg body fox. That's the one I have. Over. Okay, there are two books with that. Hold on. What's the next symbol? It looks like, uh, it looks like uh, a woman's head, like she has cur uh, like long hair and curls, only you don't see her face. Over. Okay. Uh, is the next one almost like the button, but not quite? And then the next one after that, like a candelabra with sticks coming out of it, and then the last one, like a robot in a boat? Yes. Okay, perfect. It is a new puzzle. That's kind of unfortunate. But uh, let's see. That's okay, you got this. We, this one, this first puzzle is relatively simple. Over. It says, In the western corner lies your start. Keep moving north, but watch your step. Before the last tile, you must head east. That doesn't rhyme at all. <laughs> After these two steps, take one step toward the south. What just happened with my... Um... Something happened with my game, and now the book is floating by itself, and I can move <laughs> Okay, I, I moved north on, on uh, before the last square. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know what's going on. My book is floating in the air. Huh. Magic? Okay, you can hear me good. Okay, um, I can't read it anymore. It's too far away. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Here, amigos, anyone remember what happened? Uh, retype it up. Do I have to go right? <laughs> okay, I can read it. I can read it. Okay. Uh, before the last tile, you must head east. Uh, go two steps east. Done. One step south. Done. Done. It says head for the eastern wall, then you may proceed toward the door. But I don't know how far east you have to go. No problem, I got it. 
Okay, good. I'm gonna leave the weird floating book behind and go to the creepy stage door, I guess. Victory! Ladies and Weirdest gentlemen, victory ever. Welcome to tonight's <laughs> I'll take weird victories over show. no victories. That is fair. Alright, I'm on the stage again. Uh, Alright, is the blood light on? No, it is off. Good, the story should be the same. Let's get started. Over. Alright, uh, what do we do first? Do I hit the phone? No, you have to hit the scene button, right? But you can bring stuff out to start? Yes, I can bring stuff out right away. Okay, so it was the archway and the people and the king and the queen, or was it not the king and the queen? I don't remember. It was everybody. I oh, know, it was once there was a happy people. Um, I think it was everybody. Everybody but the blood king. Oh wait, no. It was the archway and the people first. And then I think then, then the king and queen. Right, okay, try that. Alright, that was wrong. I think it is everybody. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, alright, hold on. The queen and the king, there we go. Um, I have all the people out there, and I, uh, the people, the king, the, uh, the people, the people and the king and the queen are out there, correct? Correct. Uh, there's no spotlight, though, which there was last time, so maybe I need to listen to the gramophone to start it. Yeah, I think you're right. Listen to the gramophone. Over. Okay. It might clear everybody out. Uh, the king is leaving. Oh, yeah, that, that's me. I'm putting the king back, but you're right. Start the gramophone, and if it doesn't move everyone back, I'll do it myself. Over. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, it cleared everything. Okay, bring the people. And the archway? And the archway, and the king and queen, I think. Maybe not. Try without the king or queen, because it's easier to bring them in than put them in, I think. Agreed. There we go, here, amigos. Here we go, folks. Click, clickety, click, click, clack, click, 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 click. There we go. This one. Okay, try the scene. There nice. Was a castle filled with okay, next one. I think it's just the king and the queen. If you could bring them out. Yep, and 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 the archway, I believe. Yeah, try the archway. We can always move it if not. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, I think all. Oh. Uh, Kianan, after each scene clears, do all the cardboards go back? It seems like it. Okay, good, that helps, because I, I was mistakenly constantly putting them back, thinking they were still out there. Thank you, over. <laughs> okay, King's out, here comes the Queen. Uh, are you bringing the arch, or are we trying the scene? No, I'm bringing the archway. Okay. Perfect. Clear. All were happy and all was good. So this must be everyone, including the king and the queen and the people in the archway. All right, bringing out the whole shebang. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, here we go, folks. Let's bring out everything. Let's do this. Here comes the king. Queenie. There we go, there we go. And the people. Okay, try this thing. All were happy and all was good. Perfect. Yes, 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 yes. 
nothing left the stage this time, and now the next step says until the king killed all he could. Yep. Okay, I'm getting rid of the the, the good king, not so good king, and bringing out crazy sword wielding king. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, good king. Hello, crazy king. Hello. Uh, I wish you would uh, not exist, but whatever. <laughs> Hello, <Lola> king. <laughs> Uh, there is no bloodlight. Maybe there should be. I don't know. Yeah, I oh know that was correct last time. Okay, try this scene. Until the king killed Perfect. All Standing in bloody proudly said, uh, suggest the king, not the sword king. The bloodlight is on, so you just need to bring the king out. Everyone's gone? Everyone's gone. So this should be seen. Go ahead and try it. Standing in blood, he proudly said. Uh, what? Oh. What? What? Um, uh, that was right, but there's no exit for me to take. The hatch opened and nothing happened. It's it's just a floor. Yeah, I know the hatch opened for me. I can't get. I nothing's happening for me either. Okay, that was. Uh, I don't know. Is there another scene we need to do? All right. Uh, he said blah 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 blah. Okay, I can, yeah, I can still hit the scenes. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Um, at least I understand why it didn't let me win last time, because apparently this isn't right. Uh, okay, what could be left? What could be left? There was one switch I was unable to crank. I'm, I'm trying to do that right now. Okay, go ahead and try that. The king is still out and the spotlight's still on. I don't have any more gramophone hints. Either. I turned off the light. Okay, I see that. Anytime I try to go to the levers again, this thing is in my way. There's a thing in your way, too. Yeah. Wait. Did, did anything move or come out? Not that I saw. The king is partway gone again. Son of a... <laughs> I... Okay, the king is coming back to the spotlight. Okay, yeah, the, the, the darn hatch is in my way. I can't see how to hit the darn levers again. Hold on, give me a moment. There you go. All right. There you go. Okay, the king's in the middle of the spotlight. I'm just clicking. Slowly clicking. Hold on. Here we go. How's this? What's happening? I'm clicking. I'm clicking. I'm clicking. I'm clicking. Anything happening? And... I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, I just said there doesn't seem to be anything I can do. Uh, on my end. One of the hit amigos is saying that they think that maybe it's another bug. Yeah, I think you're right, hit amigos. I can't f make heads or tails of what to do right now. This darn. If anyone's watching my channel, you can see this darn thing's in my way! Uh, they, they do say we're still missing something, maybe, which I think we agree because this isn't the end of the play, like it's left off mid-sentence, but I don't know what it could be, unless we're supposed to guess. Uh, maybe take everything off the stage and hit the scene button again? I don't know. Yep, I'll give that a go. 
Okay, hurry. Is the king gone? No, he's in the middle of the uh, spotlight. How about now? Uh, nothing's happening. Maybe he can't move. Can you turn off the spotlight? Yep. Okay, that did work. The king is still there, weirdly. Can you hit the scene button? Um, uh, I hit the scene button. Nothing happened. The marionette is basically right here. Oh, the king's leaving. Uh, try the scene button again. Someone suggests that maybe the king has to kill the marionette. Milk can fan in my chat. All right. Um, I don't know how. I'll try. Um. Uh, the king would have to come back out and be almost in the middle. King out yet? Yep, he is where he needs to be. No, he needs to move over one more. I don't know if he can. All right, hold on, hold on. Uh, how's that? Uh, the king has left. <laughs> okay, how about, how about now? My gosh, Kiana, if you pull, if you pop in on my stream right now, you can actually see this is no spoilers. What the heck is happening? <laughs> oh no! I, I, I might just come look at your stream. I have no idea what's happening. Okay, here, amigos, <laughs> this is one bad glitch. I cannot see that board for shit. I went to your stream, but I have to watch an ad, and I think it's we're gonna die before I can actually watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. I'll never know now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm looking at your screen, and yeah, you have literally no vision. Yep, there's, uh, there are the switches. If you have time to look at mine before I die, uh, all all I can see is the marionette. <laughs> yeah, let's check out. Look. Yeah, I'm gonna check out this creepy Mary on that. Might as well. <laughs> okay. I'll be here. Dying to it. Oh no. Yeah, I'm gonna check out this creepy Mary on that. Might as well. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm looking. Oh that that is that is creepy. Oh my gosh, its head will move too. Like each time it comes forward, it's like in a different position. It's so creepy. <laughs> oh, I just can't operate this. Oh, there we go. Uh, game over. Game over. Okay, you know what? Yeah, that was a good run. That that glitch is very irritating. Let's call it right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we're all done. Are we going to try it again? Uh, well, we know how to run through it. The problem is that damn hatch that opens. Yeah, I don't know if we're missing something or if it was a mistake. Uh, uh chat, a, he, a he, glitch. He and amigos, have you played this? Anyone play this before? Please, please just, just spoil this one for us because it literally looks like a glitch. I cannot see that thing for crap. <laughs> what you got? Uh, are they saying anything? Uh, nothing yet. Yep. Uh... Okay. Um, I did a little bit of Hina cheating, and it looks like it was a glitch. So if we do it again, it should work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go for it. Since we know how to do it, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Here we go again, folks. It was a glitch. <laughs> Confirmed. 
All right, let's get to the book first. It is... I did get an answer, by the way. It's their first time seeing this game. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, well, that's okay, folks. Don't worry. She did some good Hira cheating, and we're good to go. It's a different book now. Uh, how is the book? Okay, which one is it? All right, this one is just the fox head by itself on, the, on like, on like uh, a stick on the bottom. No body, just the fox head. The fox head with a stick? Sorry, no stick. Uh, just the fox head on the ground. Uh, it's like there's a fox head and it looks like... Yeah. Okay. I think I have the book. Uh, is the next one, like, the lady with the long hair? And then is the last one the, like, screaming face? Correct. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. Uh, so this one, you're starting in the east. I'm, I'm, I'm at the east. Uh, it says take one step westward. All right, well, I messed that up. Spikes came up. Uh, different book. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I started east, and then I took, and I, uh, never mind. The, the, the book, uh, the book now is the tulip fox, and then the legs with the crotch. <laughs> okay, so start in the west. Okay. All right, I'm west. Step toward the eastern wall. Oh, wait. So I start on the west square? It says, before one starts in the west, take one step toward the eastern wall. Start off by taking two steps north. So maybe start the second column over? Yeah. Oh. Nope. <laughs> All right, different book. Um... This is the one. <laughs> this is the one with the um, egg-shaped body um, fox with the woman with the curls, and at the very end, it looks like the little robot in a boat. Okay, this is the book that bugged out last time. Uh, if we get that glitch again, Proxy, who's been doing a wonderful job translating, thank you again, Proxy, um, says that maybe that's what caused the glitch last time because we had the glitched book. So, uh, if this bugs out again, we're gonna. Start over, I guess. <laughs> got, it, got it. All right. So is this the one where I start in the left and I go? How's one start off? In the western corner lies your start. Keep moving north, but watch your step. Before the last tile, you must head east. Okay, I must head east. How many steps? Two steps. And it's then south one step. Correct. Then the Eastern Wall and then Freedom? Correct. Good. I remember that one. Nice. And I did not get a book glitch this time, so we should be good. Excellent, excellent. All right, let's get to the story. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's feature show. All right, hit the gramophone. All right, here we go. Gramophone now. Okay, castle filled with life. All the people in the archway. Underway. Hida, cross your fingers. No glitch this time. <laughs> no Hida glitch, por favor. <laughs> por favor, no Hida glitch. There okay, nice. Was a castle filled with life. King and a queen. And the archway, I think. Yep, I remember the archway as well. Awesome. Here we go, here we go, here we go, folks. Let's do this, let's do this. Let's bring out the king. Come on, come on. Queen. Come on, come on. There we go. And there lived a king with his nice. wife. 
all were happy and all was good. Understood. All was happy and all was good. Then the king goes mad and then a glitch happened. <laughs> that, I think that's pretty accurate. Yeah, that's the story that I've learned. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Turn the crank, turn the crank, come on now. Christmas with the cranks. Turn that. I'm gonna stay away from the trap door this time. That's probably a good idea. A jump. All were happy. Good idea. All was good. Until the king killed all he could. Alright, this one I gotta take the good king back and then bring out the crazy one. Right, and also maybe the red spotlight? Yep. Mad king underway. Mad king, mad king! Nice. Okay, standing in blood, he proudly said, Nothing, because the game bugs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, everyone's gone, I gotta bring out the normal king, right? And then the blood in the archway. Oh, wait, no, no, no archway, no archway. Right, I think it's just the king. And then the trapdoor should open, but I'm nowhere near it because I don't want to bug it out again. <laughs> Excellent. Is the bloodlight still on? Yes. Here we go. Standing in blood. Okay. Can I leave? Blood. No. It is still <laughs> bugged. Um. No. You know, I'm gonna say we did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. Victory. Let, 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 let's get back to the main menu. Hey, where? I have left. <laughs> Hello? Oh, I know what to do. <laughs> Hello, everybody! I left the game and now we're using Discord! <laughs> uh, that was interesting. Um, as soon as you left, it actually brought me to the ending screen. <laughs> oh no, that was the final puzzle? Yeah, that was the final puzzle. We were in a hallway where we could escape. So you know what? We did it. We did it. Hey! <laughs> wait! Woo! We did it! We actually did it, people! Yes! Glitch be damned! I don't know why it wouldn't let us through the door, but we did it. We did it. It's okay. <laughs> We're all good. Yay! Oh, that was good. I mean, the glitch wasn't fun, but we did it. 